So the demand shot up. Small business owner Tori Klein describing the response to her company's PPE products tonight ever since COVID-19 swept the country. Since then, she signed on clients all the way at the state level from Washington to Michigan and created jobs. It's continually increasing because then now as more businesses were reopening, it, small climb. In one month, we sold a million masks at minimum. The owner of Sacramento's Invisible Defender saying the governor's new mandate requiring face masks indoors will only fuel product orders. The demand will continue to increase. It just will because although Calif I think California is definitely uh, more aggressive in their requirements for face masks, there are other states that are doing the same thing. COVID concerns are turning face masks into a coveted commodity. In a recent survey by Morning Consult, 72% of polled Americans said they plan to start wearing a face mask out in public. As people keep talking about these things and the requirements are there, people are going to buy them. We asked surrounding counties about plans to provide face masks to the public. A Sacramento County spokesperson said business owners can pick up masks at the county's OES distribution center, but they did not know if county leaders plan to order more in the near future. Yolo County responding, it does not expect a huge increase in face mask demand because the county has required face coverings the last two months. County leaders directing us to a link where businesses can request face coverings from the county as well. For us, I think face masks are crucial because it's a requirement in many of these states. Klein sharing she believes in everyone's right to choose whether a face mask is right for them, but says they are an important piece to getting things back to normal. Reporting from Sacramento, Stephanie Lynn, KCRA 3 News.